So together, it kind of looks like it's calling your attention to the place, but when it's off. Hello again on our next adventure in the Arduino liquid crystal tutorial. Uh, last time we talked about getting serial data and printing out what you type in from the IDE. That was actually down here. We skipped a few things. So now we're going to go back up to this blink part. Okay. Now, what is blink? All right. What does it mean to blink? Uh, blink. Blink. Yeah. It just like on off. Got on something off. going off, right? Whatever. On off. So what do you think blink is going to mean on this LCD here? Maybe turn off. Or on. Yes. So let's go ahead and add the blink command into our example here. Now, at this point, we're not going to follow exactly what's in this one because it's really pretty simple. And um, I'm just going to use what we had before to make a couple modifications to the, uh, the serial example that we have. So when you're waiting for something to type something in on, on this last example. There's just nothing there. It'd be kind of fun to, to have something showing, right? And so if we do LCD blink, and then we send that, see, we now have a blinking cursor. I'm not seeing. Why is it all of them? Yeah, so that is, if you were to print out one letter now, that is the location the letter would print. And then if you, and as you print something, that moves over. So if we now type in hello and send that over, see, um. it's now blinking over here. Okay, right? it's blinking on this end because that's where the cursor is now. After it typed something in, the blinking cursor moved. So what we could do is say, okay, well, we already typed something. Yes. Um, we don't want to, let's say we don't want it to blink anymore. So then you can put in LCD dot no blink, and then that will turn it back off. So if we do this now, it's only going to blink until we've typed something in. And once we type something in, it stops blinking, right? So you could have to do that to, so say you wanted it to show it's blinking, like, okay, I'm ready to, to receive a message, right? Something like that. Um, now, there's another thing that is kind of similar to it. So that was blink, okay. pretty straightforward. Okay. <laughs> and then cursor, and then there's another one called cursor. Cursor. Okay. Cursor is very similar to blink, but there's one difference that you'll see in a second. So as we start over, so okay, so what's the difference? It's, um, it's not blinking and also it's only a, a like little of the square. Yeah, it's a little, rectangle. it's a line. Yeah, the whole rectangle isn't full, it's just one little line. And so that is a cursor. So it doesn't blink. That's the cursor. Um, if I type in hello now, you'll see that you know it goes away because I changed the blink to cursor. So now what do you think happens if you do blink and cursor? Let's see if I can get them both on screen. There you go. We got blink and cursor. Um, I think it would, um, one rectangle would blink and then the next one would do cursor. I think it, think, 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 them coming, think, they stay blinking and they waste a little bit while stop. Okay, well, let's see who was right or if anyone's right. Oh. Okay, so now the whole rectangle is blinking, but the line always stays there at the bottom. Right? So the cursor stays on, it doesn't blink, and then the rest of it blinks. So together, it kind of looks like, you know, 
it's calling your attention to the place, but when it's off, it still shows you the line. So you still see like where it's trying to get your attention to. So if we go, so if we don't turn it off, just so you see what happens when you. And the one that think that looks like it's sinking. That does, doesn't it? But now, okay, so let me finish with saying, if we turn, if we keep blink and cursor on all the time, and now I type in hello, Okay, we see it moved over here. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so since it's blinking right there, it kind of looks like you're supposed to be able to still type, right? Yes. So I, I want to make a way to add more to it. If I send another message to it now, and I say, Merry Christmas this time. i put that back in. So if I send Merry Christmas, um, well, okay, notice there's nothing blinking because it filled the whole entire screen. So let's just say, Mary. Okay. I typed in Mary, it's blinking there. I type in Christmas, and then it resets, right? Well, what if I want to put Mary and then Christmas and keep the Mary there? So if I keep an old string here, and I'll do previous message. And when we start, there was nothing there before, right? Yeah. So that's that's uh, an empty string, okay? Or whole message, something like that. That should work, okay? So now I want to print whole message. So when I get a strip mess, a new one, I just want to take whole message and add the new one to it, All right? So we have what we had before. And then we add the new message to that and print the whole thing. Oh. Okay. Now, because we can add to the, you know, say I typed in hello and that's short enough to not need to scroll. Remember last time we started it scrolling if it's too long? Yeah. Now, because we can add more things to it, it could be that it was short before and then we add more and now it's too long. So I need to check the length of whole message is longer than 16 to decide if we should scroll. Okay, right now there's no way to clear out the message. It's going to stay the, that length. We could do something maybe next time to figure out a way to make it clear the message. But for now, it's just gonna keep adding to it unless we restart. So, oops, I forgot a semicolon, right? So there's this thing at the end of the line. In C++, all your lines have to end with that semicolon. Um, I got two errors here. So this first one is that that's supposed to be an uppercase S. And this one is message only has two S's in it, <laughs> not three. Okay. There we go. Now it's blinking. There's nothing there. Yeah. Go to the serial monitor and put in Mary. Mary. And I hit return. I added a space. And so the cursor is over here now. Now let's see what happens if I type in Christmas and I hit return. Merry Christmas. It printed out the whole thing. Merry Christmas. Okay, and now I want to add a little bit more so it's long enough to need to scroll. From the Yetis. Okay, so now it's going to say Merry Christmas and then it's going to scroll over. Cool. Cool, right? So you can see how we com combined a few different things that we've done, right? Oh, and there's the cursor <laughs> coming across. So we printed a message, which was the first thing we did. Now we have some scrolling, which was the second thing we did. Yep. We used the serial, which we did last time, the third thing we did. And now we added the blinking cursor. And so all together we have a kind of more complete thing. There's more we can do here to clean it up. But basically, the idea is you have something showing up on the on the LCD, and it, it indicates to you with the blinking cursor, kind of indicates to you that it's waiting to accept more. So maybe next time we can make it uh, make a way to clear, um, make a way to like stop accepting new um, input, and then the cursor would stop blinking. A couple things that we could do for next time. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Pretty simple blinker, uh, the blink and cursor, two different things. You can use one or the other, or you can use them both at the same time and get a fun little effect. Okay.
See you later. See you. Bye.